Strangest Legendary Lake Monsters Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. From the immortal Loch Ness Monster to mysterious and dangerous freshwater beasts, here are 16 of the strangest legendary lake monsters. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Who is Nessie? If you were on Jeopardy!, that's how you'd correctly respond to the statement, she is the world's most famous lake monster. Sightings date back to the 6th century AD at Loch Ness and continue to this day. As for who or what she is, most guesses have centered around Nessie being a plesiosaur type of marine reptile that has somehow survived over the ages. Along with providing plenty of mystery, the lake beast has also provided a nice boost for the Scottish tourism business. It's estimated that she contributes some 41 million pounds each year to Scotland. Scotland's overall economy. That's about 51 million US, and that's a conservative estimate. The Meteor Dragon Mythology of North America's indigenous Seneca people tells of a dragon like beast that lives in Lake Ontario, Canada. Known as Gaziandietha, it arrived after a meteoroid crashed into Earth. It was said to be capable of traveling through the heavens on trails of fire and could spew fire as well. While it's said to dwell deep in the lake, sightings of a giant snake-like creature have been reported over the centuries. One such report from French explorer Jacques Cartier described a finned reptile animal that resembled a caterpillar as it moved through the water. Tahoe Tessie Following up with the Loch Ness Monster, there are several lake monsters whose names have been inspired by Nessie. So the next few segments will focus on Nessie namesakes. That includes Tessie, or Tahoe Tessie, which is described as a serpentine animal measuring some 80 feet long. She lives in the deeper waters of Lake Tahoe and has been reported since the 19th century. Issy. In Japan, there's a huge lizard-like creature named Issy that allegedly inhabits Lake Ikeda. Eyewitnesses have described it as having a dark coloration, two humps, and an estimated length of 30 feet. Photos of it were reportedly taken in 1978 but have never been verified. Bessie Also known as South Bay Bessie, this monster has reportedly inhabited Lake Erie since the late 18th century. This is another one with a serpentine form and measures more than 30 feet in length. Sightings continued through the late 20th century and inspired locals to post a reward for its live capture. Depending on the source, that reward ranges from $5,000 to $100,000. If you can think of more lake monster names inspired by Nessie, let us know in the comments below. El Cuero Lago Lacar is a glacier lake enclosed within a mountain range of the Andes in Argentina, and it's here where a dangerous aquatic predator is believed to reside. Cuero is Spanish for cowhide, which is what this animal's skin is said to resemble. It's described as a large critter with razor-sharp claws, eye stalks extending from its head, and a mosquito-like proboscis. It uses that structure to suck the blood from its victims, which can be animals or humans. There are some reports that this beast has snatched children from the shoreline. Freshwater stingrays may have provided the inspiration for this cryptid, but those fish aren't known for having eye stalks or for sucking the blood of their victims. Igopogo Not to be confused with the better-known lake monster Ogopogo, this creature is said to dwell in Lake Simcoe, Ontario. It resembles the folklore of Canada's indigenous peoples and is described as a seal-like animal with a dog-like face. Its lengths have been estimated between 12 and 70 feet. According to witnesses, this is a slow-moving beast that favors the shoreline and will occasionally bask in the sun for extended periods. Some cryptozoologists have speculated that Igopogo might be related to the Irish crocodile. Ogopogo Like we said, this lake monster is better known than Igopogo and has been reported in Canadian waters. British Columbia's Okanagan Lake is where this beast is said to call home. It was initially described by the First Nations people in the 19th century. Since then, there have been multiple sightings through the decades. It's typically said to measure upwards of 50 feet long and resembles a mosasaurus. Multiple sightings of Ogopogo were reported in 2018, all of which generally matched the critter's overall description. Beast of Busco The name Beast of Busco refers to the town of Churubusco, Indiana, where it was first reported in 1898. A farmer claimed to see a huge snapping turtle living in a seven-acre lake on his property near the town. After telling some neighbors about the creature, he apparently decided to simply leave it be. But in 1948, two citizens reported the giant turtle in the same lake and estimated its weight at around 500 pounds. Stories of the turtle spread and attracted national headlines in addition to throngs of curious 
sightseers. Several attempts were made to locate the creature, including dispatching deep sea divers into the lake, as well as draining it, but the creature was never found. That led many skeptics to question if the creature was ever truly sighted at all. Underwater Panther the name of this beast is Mishipeshu, which translates as the Great Lynx from the language of the Ojibwe people of the Great Lakes region. Located in Lake Superior, this huge creature is said to have a cat-like head and paws, but is also covered in scales and has dagger-like spikes that run down its back and tail. It's a powerful water monster that shows up in the mythologies of several Native American tribes in Canada and the U.S. Many regard the underwater panther the most powerful being in the underworld capable of creating strong storms and whirlpools within the region. Copper plays a crucial role in the underwater panther mythology. It was said to guard vast quantities of the metal, and stealing it was forbidden by the Ojibwe tribe. An incident from the 17th century provides an idea of what awaited copper thieves. When four tribesmen tried to steal copper from Mishipeshu, the underwater panther chased them down and drowned them. Lagarfjot Worm This creature has been reported in Iceland since 1345, and sightings have continued into the 21st century. It inhabits the glacier-fed freshwater lake of Lagarfjot in the eastern part of the country. Located within the murky waters is a humpbacked aquatic serpentine beast estimated to be 40 feet long. In addition to appearing in the lake, this monster has also been reported slithering on land and lying coiled up in trees. In ancient times, evidence of the mysterious beast turns up in maps that cite a monster inhabiting the lake. Notable sightings in modern times have been reported by the head of the Icelandic National Forest Service in the 60s. In 2012, a video of the alleged creature was broadcast on Icelandic television that created some controversy over its veracity. While the video had its skeptics, plenty of people believe the creature exists. But what do you think? Champ. The beast of Lake Champlain is said to inhabit that lake, which is bordered by Vermont, New York, and part of Quebec. More than 300 sightings of Champ have been reported. Those go back to the times when the region was ruled by Native American tribes. Initial sightings by Europeans can be found from the early 17th century, and descriptions can vary widely. Some accounts describe the creature measuring anywhere from 5 feet to over 180 feet. While there are sightings of the cryptid said to have been caught on video, no images have ever been verified. Many cryptozoologists conjecture that Champ would be garfish or a sturgeon, both of which live in the lake. That might help explain why some reports describe the creature as a horned serpent. Another possibility is that Champ is a marine reptile like a plesiosaur, which somehow escaped going extinct. The Irish Crocodile Depending on the source, this animal can resemble an otter or a dog. It's also been described as being half fish and half dog with the hindquarters of a greyhound. One detail that stays consistent, however, is its habitat. This creature lives in the water and has sleek black fur with protective qualities. Also known as Doar Hu, it's reported to live in the depths of Irish lakes and rivers since ancient times. Many accounts describe the creatures as having large paws used for grabbing prey and dragging them into the water. They are especially aggressive towards dogs and humans, and they can move fast, whether in the water or on land. Some accounts claim the beasts will chase a human for 20 miles over rough terrain. Sightings continue to be reported into the 21st century. White River Monster Sightings of this critter have occurred in the White River in northeastern Arkansas. While initial sightings date to 1915, many locals think the monster was around during the time of the Civil War. It's been described as having the face of a catfish and gray, wrinkled skin like an elephant. Eyewitnesses from Arkansas say the White River Monster is around three cars long and one car wide. Notable sightings from the 1930s and the 1970s indicated that the monster made noises that sounded like a cross between a horse's neigh and a cow's moo. Three-toed tracks measuring 14 inches long were discovered on a nearby island that were allegedly made by the beast. The Morak while this Scottish sea monster was first documented around 1887, it's not as well known as that more famous cryptid in Loch Ness. The Morak is found about 70 miles away in Loch Mora. The creature's appearance presents a bit of a paradox. It's been described as resembling a mermaid, but it's also said to look like a demonic creature whose presence foreshadows doom. More recently, though, the Morak's description has matched that of Nessie, with accounts referring to it as a serpentine creature. The best sightings of this cryptid occurred in 1969, when two men accidentally collided with it while in their boat. The men described it as having three humps, a brown coloration, and an estimated length of 30 feet. Despite expeditions to locate the Morak, no definitive evidence of this creature has yet been discovered. 
one, Emela Untuka. We end the list with a beast whose name translates as the elephant killer. So maybe it's not surprising to learn that Emela Untuka is about the size of an elephant. Found in isolated areas of Cameroon and the Congo, this creature stands more than 10 feet tall and weighs 13 thousand pounds. They also share some characteristics with rhinos. That includes a huge horn on the snout and stumpy legs underneath a bulky body. Many cryptozoologists have compared this animal to ceratopsians, like Triceratops, inferring that a specimen may have lived to the present day. While that's uncertain, there's no doubt of this critter's ferocity. It's said to take down anything that gets in its way. 